One of the few things that we new parents buy to make our baby comfortable is a pram or a stroller. What if I told you, once you start baby wearing, you would never look at your stroller again? Ready to be sure that you make an informed decision about getting or not getting a pram for your little one? Then hit the like button and let's get started. <music> from Mom Life Unplugged where I share tips and tricks to help new parents decode parenthood. In today's video, I will be sharing how baby wearing made me ditch my pram for a carrier from Cold Cold. I will be doing a point-wise comparison between a stroller and a carrier. Do watch the video till the end as I will be telling about my baby wearing gurus who changed my life forever. But before that, we need to understand what exactly is baby wearing? Baby wearing is an age-old practice of carrying the baby close to the mother's chest with a long piece of cloth in a way that the baby is positioned ergonomically without any discomfort to the baby or the mother. With time, this piece of cloth has taken many forms and shapes. But the core still revolves around the comfort of the baby. Now let's start comparing. A very obvious difference between the two is that a pram or a stroller is bulky, difficult to store, difficult to carry or move around. Especially in the crowded and busy markets we have, moving around with a pram or a stroller is a headache. Whereas a carrier can be easily folded and kept in your handbag and when you carry the baby you can be sure he is close to you and you do not have to move a big cart around. The second point is cleaning. I once tried to clean my pram and trust me I felt like an engineer that day. I had to dismantle all the parts of the pram, clean them separately, dry them and fix them all back together. It was a task. However, when I had to clean my carrier, all I had to do is dump it in the washing machine, take it out, dry it in the sun and ta-da, my carrier was shining again. The next point is very important that is comfort of the baby. Babies, especially newborns, are most comfortable when they are close to their mothers. A baby loves to smell his mom and listen to the music her heart plays. So when the baby is worn by his mother in a carrier, he is in his favorite spot and hence he is comfortable and cozy. This however is not possible in a pram. So the babies become uncomfortable and restless and they want to get out of it. The fourth point is temperature control. My daughter was born in January, peak winters. And before I was introduced to baby wearing, I was never sure that baby C is cozy enough in her pram and is not getting bothered by the cold breeze. So I did not want to take her out in the cold and so I was locked inside because I did not want to leave her as well. But when I started baby wearing her around the age of three months, I was very much sure that she is warm and cozy because when we baby wear, our body heat comforts the baby and also helps in regulating the baby's body temperature. The next point is hands-free. Even if the baby is calmly sleeping in the pram, you will still have to move the pram around and your hands will be constantly engaged. This made me feel like I'm driving a car and my hands cannot leave the steering wheel and I actually felt bound. But while baby wearing, your little munchkin is closely tied to you and you have both your hands free. This gave me so much freedom. Now I could do everything from eating a sandwich to working on the laptop, to cooking, to shopping, to cleaning the house. Point number six is something you would have never thought about beforehand. That is nursing the baby. This is also one of the plus points of baby wearing. You can easily nurse the baby in the carrier itself. All you have to do is change a few adjustments and you're good to go. This means even if your darling dozes off while nursing, which happens most of the time, you would not have to disturb them. Just adjust the carrier back to the original position and the baby will not even notice it. This is a win-win for both as you didn't have to stop what you were doing and the baby had a good feed 
and slept without getting disturbed. The next point was the deal maker for me, that is ease of travel. Just two months after Charvi was born, I was traveling to my mother's place. I was going for three months and baby stuff takes a lot of space. I had the whole thing planned. Baby C will be in her pram, which will be pushed by my mom and I will push the luggage trolley. But as soon as we entered the airport, my master decided she did not want to be in the pram after all. She wanted mommy and she started wailing. So now my mom was pushing the luggage trolley. In one hand, I had my baby and I was pushing the pram from the other. It was a nightmare. On the way back, however, I was blessed with baby wearing skills. The pram was checked in with the luggage. Charvi was happily strapped to me. My hands were free. I had juice in one hand and cabin luggage in another. I was stress free and I was moving around the airport like a boss. Since then, C and I have traveled a lot without any help. So yes, traveling is fun when you're baby wearing, but pain with a pram. This trip was the last time I ever used my pram. I now baby wear my girl almost every day. I do not step out of the house without the carrier. Do leave a comment below if you would like to know more about baby wearing and I will make a separate video on the benefits of baby wearing. I was introduced to the world of baby wearing by Jasmine Bowen. She and Yaman Banerjee are two beautiful souls and baby wearing educators who help new parents in developing a special bond with their babies by teaching them the art of baby wear. They are known by the name LLB, that is Live Love Baby Wear. Their LLB family is growing every day and in the past two years, they have touched numerous lives. I have shared their link in the description box below. Do get in touch with them, feel the magic of baby wearing and you can thank me later. I hope this video helped you in deciding between a pram and a carrier. Do subscribe to my channel for more personal experiences that have taught me many lessons which I will be sharing with new parents to make parenting a smooth ride for them. Do click on the link on your screens right now if you wish to get your baby shoot done but are unable to shortlist the best baby photographer. And I will see you there. Bye!